folks, there's up in Virginia Beach, hundreds out here enjoying the cool water and showing off how to really catch a wave. It is one of the most amazing feelings you'll ever experience. You um, get to be one with nature. Um, it's a thrill you can't get anywhere else. Sarah Jenkins, one of many who strutted her stuff. And oh yeah, did I mention? She's a spinal cord injury. It's around in a wheelchair. I came from being confined to a bed um, and only can move from neck neck up and four surgeries later um, I'm surfing. That's right all the surfers out here have neurological illnesses or injuries that make it hard to get around let alone get to the beach. You know, programs like this don't you know make us feel like we have any limitations or anything like that and it just gives you the feeling that you can do whatever you want to do. Drew Pritchin says it's given her hope of beating cerebral palsy and inspired other friends with disabilities that they too can enjoy life. She's doing great. She's out there just rocking it. She's caught four or five waves at least already. Most of the people out here are volunteers doing the heavy lifting, guiding the boards, and creating a sense of trust. A reminder that disabilities don't mean the end of life. Chesapeake native Chris Daly says it's a boost to keep him going. It's quite phenomenal, brother. It's uh, amazing that uh, the volunteers are able to come out like they are and help us do this. It's something we only get to do once a year because uh, it takes, as you see, a lot of hands to do it, but it's phenomenal to be able to get back and ride the waves, man. It's really incredible. In Virginia Beach, Wayne Carter, 13 News.